Okay, we're on number four now. So it says that we need to arrange our Google, Google Apps where the first row is the classroom, the drive, and the docs. Okay, and it says then we got to take a snip of it, of how we arranged it, of how we arranged these Google Apps, and then we're going to insert it over here on B. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to open up, you can see up here, a tab, and I'm going to type in www.google.com. I know I was already on it, but it's just so I can use this little thing down here. Okay, so I'm going to highlight, it should highlight my clicks now. Okay, so when I go over here, these are my Google Apps. So again, these, this little puzzle piece right here, that's what I like to call it. These are your Google Apps. And so usually what I see students do is I usually see students will type in Google Classroom this way when they're trying to get to Google Classroom or if they're trying to get to anything. I see a lot of students do this. Don't do that, okay? I'm going to show you how to change that. But again, do, so try and avoid doing that if they want Google Slides. I see them type it like this as well but we don't want to do that okay so again you're gonna click this Google Apps right here and we're gonna be able to take all of those apps that you're using for school and we're gonna be able to move them up here okay but the three that we're required to do right now for this problem is that we gotta move the classroom so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna look for classroom okay oh here's Google classroom right here so I'm gonna select it with my um, with my little uh, selection on a Chromebook I forget what that thing's called anyways it's like our, it's our mouse though and I'm gonna bring it up all right and so I'm gonna bring it up because it said that we need to put this one first so here it is and then we have to get the drive next so I'm gonna go down oh here's the drive right here so I'm gonna grab it again go ahead and select it and then you're gonna bring it up okay and then the last one it said that we need it was the docs so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look for the docs. Here it is right here. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to move it up as well. And so these um, apps right here is what you use all the time for your classes. And so now you have these top ones right here. I would even suggest grabbing your YouTube and moving that one up. And another one that you guys tend to use a lot is slides. I would even move that one up right here. I'm just going to go ahead and do it just because these are the ones that you use a lot for school. And then, um, ooh, your Gmail. If you're, um, is your school's using Gmail, you might want to put that one more closer to the top as well. Okay. Um, if you needed a translate, you can move that up as well, which is really nice. And then um, another one students have trouble always finding is Sheets. This is another one sometimes that we'll have for like graphs and things like that. Students usually have a hard time finding that. Okay. And you can even see it has search too. So, but we only had to do the classroom, the drive, and the docs, okay? So now we're going to take a screenshot of that. But I real quick want to show you that every time, now when I open up, I can always click right here, the Google Apps, and I can just real click select it. And so when I select this, it'll take me to Google Classroom. If I need to look at my drive for an assignment that I completed, I can click this real quick. If my, student, if my teacher asked me to type something up in Google Docs, I can click it. So anyway, so this is a fast way to get to all of the apps that you need for your class, okay, for school, all right? Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and take a snippet of these three right here on our Chromebook. So what you're going to do is, again, if you um, forgot, you're going to go ahead and we're going to hold down Control and Shift, all right? So hold those two down, and then we're going to go ahead and click, click this little window key that's right above number six. So you're going to click that real quick. Make sure that you are still holding down the shift and the control, and then you'll see this appear. Remember, this is our little target. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little um, snippet, like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down. I'm going to just click, and I'm going to hold the click button down, and I'm going to go ahead, and you can see I'm just bringing now this back, okay? I'm selecting this entire area showing um, that we went ahead and arranged our Google Apps like this. Okay, I might even, just for me, I might even take a little bit better shot of this. So I'm going to go hold down a shift and control again, push that button, and I actually might do, oops, it kind of closed down on me. Anyways, um, I'm going to exit this. Ah, there we go. I'm going to actually show that's even right here with the Google Apps. So I'm, again, I'm going to hold down shift, control, above the six. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and, that's a better shot right there. Okay. And so this right here, you can see we took the screenshot. I'm going to go ahead and put an X. I'm going to close it. 
I'm going to go back down to, um, I mean, I'm going to go back over to my assignment. I'm going to make sure that my cursor is right here on B. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go up here and I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to go down to image again and I'm going to go over where it says upload from computer. We're going to select that. And then we're going to see over here, it should be the first screenshot. And again, if it's not, you can click on file right here. Don't forget, you can move this, okay, to find it. And you see we went to downloads right here. Once you click that, here's um, the one again, all of our screenshots and stuff. So here's our little snippet we took. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to select it, and I'm going to click OK, or open, I'm sorry. And now we put it in there. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and click it, and I'm going to drag the sides really in, because I like it really small. It helps kind of with our our document kind of keep everything on the page you might even notice I went back and kind of resize some of these other ones okay that's it for number four